Carry that now, Ben. Yeah. Too heavy. Too heavy. I got it. Oh yeah. Well, hey guys, and welcome back to Hey, It's a Good Life. My name is Natalie, and I'm so glad you're here today because I'm in a kitchen that you might just recognize. I'm here on my last day at Roots and Refuge Farm. Now, one thing I love to do is cook for people. So as a thank you for hosting me and for being such great people and friends, I asked them if I could make them an Argentine meal. So tonight, I'm making chimichurri flank steak and some roasted potatoes. So let's get into it. All right, so you might be wondering, what is chimichurri? Chimichurri is a essentially a salsa that comes from Argentina and it's something that the gauchos would slather their meat in and then eat their meat over an open flame in what's called Las Pampas which is the countryside of Argentina which is where my family spent a couple generations before moving to the United States so although technically we're really Italian um, we spent a lot of time in Argentina. I have a lot of family still in Argentina and Argentine cuisine is something that's really close to my heart and I love cooking Argentine food. Chimichurri salsa is made basically of a lot, a lot of parsley, garlic, a little bit of vinegar, a couple other spices, and you just slather your meat in that and throw it on the grill. I like to leave a little extra towards the end so that you can add it in addition to the meat. Um, so I've made a bit of an extra batch today. Uh, so let me show you guys how to make some chimichurri sauce. All right, so I've got about 10 cloves of garlic here, like one head of garlic, all just peeled, ready to go in the food processor. And I've got about four to six cups of parsley. Oh, hello, helper. And I want them. You're right, actually. <laughs> so we're gonna add about a cup, maybe two cups of olive oil. It really just depends whatever it takes to kind of get all of this into a salsa. So the meat's marinating, now it's time to work on these potatoes. I'm using some gold Yukon potatoes because I've heard that they have more nutrients. Also, I just like the way they taste. And we're gonna make some rosemary garlic roasted potatoes. All right, so we've got the steak marinating. We've got the potatoes started. They don't know I'm sopping what? <laughs> that was some commitment to those for sure. I need them. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the rain was laughing at me the minute I hopped out there to go get some fresh herbs. And it just let 
out all of the rain. Um, anyway, so the steak is marinating, the potatoes are chopped. Um, I like to do a rosemary thyme roasted potato with garlic, salt, olive oil, and pepper. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys that this is what thyme looks like when it flowers. I picked some of that. I've also got some non-flowering thyme and some rosemary as well. I will never get over picking fresh herbs from the garden. And if you're looking for a really easy way to start incorporating more fresh ingredients, more homegrown ingredients into your cooking, I would really recommend starting with an herb garden. You could do like an herb windowsill garden really easily. And these are some great herbs that I use all the time in my cooking. Thyme and rosemary. They're super hardy, really beautiful when they flower, and I'll just never get over picking fresh herbs for cooking. the steaks marinating the potatoes are all dressed up and ready to be roasted and that's it this is a really simple easy flavorful meal now all that's left to do is fire up the grill cook the meat and roast the potatoes and in true Argentine fashion we are not getting this meat going on the grill until very late at night Ripe hour of 9.15. We are just sitting down eating dinner. This actually is not that unusual for our house. Really? Yeah. Oh, all right, I feel we better about dark. that. So, most of the time. I'm a farm boy. You are a farm boy. <laughs> mom, mom, teach me how to do it. I know, and you're doing a good job, but you can't do it by yourself yet. 